Nothing else new right now, guys, so I'm not going to show you, but I did find this Dominion Blue Imagine X. I haven't seen this yet, so just wanted to show you guys. Target location 2, everybody. You probably see that on the top corner, but decent stock. Nothing new, but there is something new. I've already checked some stuff. Um, right now, I'm waiting for them to get the Funko backpack out of the back. I will not be picking up the other thing I found. But I do think I'm one of the first people to find it. But there's people on the list, so hold on just a second. Moved it to show you guys. Um, Funko Moments. I haven't collected any of these besides I got the Triceratops one in the beginning. But they don't have the T-Rex, but they do have Grant and Flair with the Four Explorer, which is pretty cool. Um, this is from the Beyond the Gates last month, or not last month, but month before that. But yeah, that's really cool. Um, the, I mean, the paint's decent. I mean, I like the 30th Anniversary logo. It's all nice pretty awesome so this is actually a really interesting experience so this time at target they did have it in the back right here i got it but um they did actually say it had in the back it wasn't like an on hand thing where because obviously it can be on the floor in the back or on hand which the on hand thing never makes sense but it was in the back but no item location so that's like similar to the thing where it says on hand i don't even know why it's not just labeled as that but yeah pretty cool backpack um i like the colors Ooh, there's even T-Rex, Funko Pop, and Dilophosaurus on the side. A lot of people won't like that, but I think it looks, kind of gives it some extra vibe. So yeah, pretty cool. Hello, everyone. I'm in the same target you saw me in the last segment. Um, I heard that there's a lunch pail. I already knew that, but I still want to look for it this time. I was kind of in a rush yesterday. Um, but there's also a wallet coming out, so I'm not sure if that's actually in the store. Sorry, it's burped. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm gonna, I did have, I find on eBay some like price tags for these items so I can scan it to see without really asking anybody to see if they have it or maybe not have it just to know if it's in the system. Let's see. I heard that they upped the moment sets to $40 instead of the original $30. So let's hope that's not true. Hold on. This is hard to do with one hand. They did, interesting. So if you wanna get the whole like background moment right here, um, it's actually gonna cost $80. See now, I didn't collect the other ones like Robert Muldoon, um, what's the other one's name? Uh, Hammond um, with the gates. And there was one more I didn't collect. I'm not sure what it was now that I think about it, but I did get the Ellie of Triceratops, but I just didn't wanna spend $30 on a bunch of Funko Pops. I can understand for like a wallet or a backpack, something I guess kind of more useful, even though I'm not gonna use it, but for some reason they just didn't appeal to me a ton. If, if my particular stores would have got them on sale, I would have bought them because I think some people's stores were doing like $9, but even for 15 or I would have still done it. But yeah, it didn't really happen here. Um, if you guys want to see the Jurassic Isle, I'm going this way. I actually will have the location up on the screen but this is location let's say two if you guys forgot um i have them in order as how far away they are from my house but imagine next style literally everything looks the same compared to last time um just a little bit maybe more cleaned up compared to last time so yeah but now let's check the jurassic aisle this way typical they're opposite directions Um, hold on, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, you're good. <laughs> um, the Jurassic Isle looks pretty decent. Basically the same stock as last time as I said before. Nothing really new, but yeah, pretty cool. Right now, heading into the next Walmart location. Um, hoping to find some decent stuff. I'll let you guys know soon. Okay, guys, first thing we're checking, um, Magic Next Isle. Let's see what they have right now. Not seeing a ton. They have the big um, Giga. This was on sale from $120 for $60 on Amazon recently. I always feel like when Imagine Next does these, they go good for the holiday season, but after that, it's over. Um, but let's see what else we have. We have a large Raptor, a large Pyroraptor. I think they're called Super Sized or something. I can't quite remember. Or just extra large right there. Um, we have a Dr. Alan Grant or Stegosaurus. Same thing behind it. Right here, we have an Atrociraptor. Um, and another Pyroraptor back there. And I don't see much else. Oh, over here we have some interesting stuff. I haven't seen this forever. Oh, it's on clearance, but I actually got it for 
cheaper at Target previously. But yeah, too bad that's not beta. That would have been nice if that was beta. I'm not seeing much else. I could be missing something. Oh, yeah, I am. Right here is the Walmart exclusive. I'm pretty sure it's exclusive. Do not quote me on that set. But I've only seen it at Walmart right here. Comes with an extra large dinosaur as a bonus. <laughs> it's funny because it's not even in scale. Not that much Imaginext is in scale. But yeah, pretty cool. Um, pretty decently stocked. Now I'm moving on to the Mattel Jurassic World aisle. Should be right over here. On the Mattel aisle, I'm seeing Imaginext. Um, I haven't seen wave one of these for a while. I'm surprised they're not on sale. That's interesting to see. Um, I may grab that. Probably not, but still a chance. And then the actual section, I'm seeing wave two minis, which I may grab some of those. Look like people are ripping them open. <laughs> If they knew what was in them already, they shouldn't be doing that if they had the codes and stuff. But I'm not seeing any captives. Not much new on top. Um, it actually is pretty organized right now, which is very surprising for Walmart. Someone must have just came through here and organized it. Um, let's see, they have beta. I won't think beta is on sale, but they had the Dilophosaurus was on sale over there. That's really interesting. So, the one over there was, maybe they got an extra shipment and put one of them on sale. I'm not 100% sure of that. But yeah, um, decent. Nothing really here. Um, got the Capture Copter pack up there. It's been a while since I've seen that in the stores. And I think that's going to be it. Um, I'll show you guys next section in a minute. Okay guys, heading into the Funko section right now. Um, I found this one. I promise I didn't. I wasn't the one to do this. But I can tell it's the Ultra Rare and Dominus. So I think I'm going to grab this. Every single one was ripped. And it's like, people just should realize they can just use the codes. Um, there's people on the aisle right now, so I'll show you in a minute. Okay, now we're at the Funko section. I'm not seeing what I was looking for last time. Um, looks like they might not have it now. Um, I don't see it down here either. I'll let you guys know if I find it. So right now, heading into what, Target location too. Um, I'll have the date up on the screen. Hoping to find the lunchbox. I called the day and they didn't know what they were doing. I gave them like this code and DVCI and they just had no clue what they were doing. So I'm hoping, sorry, it's super shaky, to find the lunchbox and maybe the wallet. I did get confirmed by someone on eBay that they bought the wallet here. So that is officially known that it's here but it makes no sense to why Paco couldn't scan it but I don't really know so hopefully he's working right now I think he gets on shift at like 2.30 not 100% on that but I don't even know if this is going to be in the Funko section or if this is going to be in like the lunchbox section so if they have it the lunchbox section is right here I'll show you guys in a second so it's a no for the lunch bottom section to my knowing. I don't see anything here. Now I'll check the Funko section. See if they have anything in a second. Hold on. Okay, I'm not seeing it in the Funko section. Um, I do see that they have the T-Rex now, so that looks pretty cool for this display. But yeah, I'll we'll see you guys in the next segment. So hello everyone. Um, this is just be like a middle of the video segment. Um, I'm heading to Target right now to get the Red Rex. Um, the set, the only store in town, I've been checking constantly every single time I go to see when they're going to be getting the Red Rex, but the only store in town was Target Location 4. They actually had a set date for the Red Rex, and somehow, yesterday um, evening, every single Target store updated and said that they had four in stock. So, um, I'm heading to Target Location 1 right now because supposedly they have two left now. But since last night, Target Location 2 sold all four that they had. Target Location 4 sold all they had. Target Location 3 still has um, all four, but this location only has two. But online, it says that every location is out. And the reason I figured it out is just like the other 93 Classic sets. Um, it just says in the top, like I think left corner of your screen, um, it says how many is actually at the store. It's like a little secret thing. I think it's kind of connected to the Zebra machines. That's why it's more accurate than the actual store stock. But yeah, I'll let you guys know if I find it.
So they were actually able to hold it for me, which is bizarre because any other time I ask them to hold something for me on the phone, they say they can't. So it's like, is this really a rule at Target? Let me know, guys, how your targets react to when someone asks to hold. Like, I didn't even have to ask. They just said I could hold it for you for like three or four hours at customer service desk. But some stores will like get really ticked off at me when I ask them to do that. So let me know in the comments below what you guys have and your experiences with that. So I was able to get it. Right now I'm just gonna go check the floor to see if they have anything. The guy acted like I was insane, kind of, and thought like, they're holding something for you? So yeah, I was, I was surprised. And they said, yeah, well, sometimes if you're coming right away, but she didn't even know I was coming right away. She said for like three or four hours, they would be able to hold it. So yeah, again, just let me know your experiences. Here we are, guys. Um, they have the $40 T-Rex set. I think I'm gonna wait until this hits discount. They have so much stock for it. But, I mean, I don't know why I said T-Rex. This is the one with Grant. But they do have the T-Rex one, which I wanted to show you guys. The T-Rex sculpt actually looks pretty decent overall. Um, they like how it looks. Um, I know it's kind of hard to see on camera through the Funko packaging, but these obviously go together on display and they connect. So that's how it would look. Um, kept them in the boxes, but you could also take them out, which I feel like these Funko Moment sets are definitely more built for taking them out of the package. Um, I'm not seeing much else. Oh, I thought this was the lunchbox for Jurassic Park. Um, this, I guess this is probably what the lunchbox will look like if I find it, but this is just Ninja Turtles, but this is Launchfly, I'm guessing, I don't know. Um, but there's some Jurassic, other backpacks, not Jurassic, Star Wars, I think, I don't know much about Marvel, if that's what that is. But yeah, cool. So the next thing I'll be checking, um, I just checked the Funko section. No chases or anything that's too interesting. This aisle I've shown you so many times, everything seems to be the same um, sets. There's a bunch of Ferrazinosaurus, Stego, Drosseraptor, Pagoraptor, um, nothing else new about it next twice. Um, but let's move on to the actual Jurassic aisle. What's interesting is, like I said before, of how they sold out, I'm wondering if this store in particular got, only got two Red Rexes because I don't think they'd take them out of the back yet. It's hard to say, but, um, hold on. On the Jurassic aisle, anything new? Got the Hammond T-Rex, looks like someone ripped the head thing up. You good? I'm not seeing anything new really at all. It's actually looking somewhat clean. I'm realizing that the Target Owls, maybe they got a new policy. Nothing really looks to be like that um, in disarray. Definitely missing all their smaller items. I don't see any Hammond collection besides the T-Rex. This is getting a full re-release and all of Way of One according to Collector Asic and JP Toys, which is actually crazy. So yeah, see you in the next segment. Hello everyone, here it is in the package, um, in the car. Looks pretty nice overall. Definitely more rubbery than I thought it would be. Way better than the Mosasaurus. Um, the package I got was pretty decent condition because it came straight out of the back. And the back of the box is blurry, but it kind of looks old school to me. That has that old school vibe. And then here's the other three sets, which for some reason in the US came out way earlier than this one. But yeah, pretty cool. As usual, when I most need it, forget to bring my tripod. But right now, my Kohl's, let's see what they have. Okay, so I'm at Kohl's right now. Um, just, just to check what they have. I'm actually here for other stuff. Unlike most of my hunts, most of my hunts actually go just to hunt. A lot of people might find that hard to believe, but it's just what I like to do, so. Um, I've noticed that at Macy's and Kohl's, they are much more regularly stocking the Dino Trackers figures compared to like Target or Walmart. But they also were stocking more Dino Trackers than they did for the Dominion figures, which was very surprising to me. But we're at the section. Hopefully there's not too many people here because last time it was a pain. So yeah, I'll show you guys what I can find. First thing I'm seeing is something from last time. There's the source of Owen, Imagine next. Pretty cool. Button's a little bit annoying to see. Um, this is where the Jurassic was last time. I'm seeing three Stegosaurus, no, no, one Sino Tyrannus. I don't think I've ever said that, even though this figure's been out for so long. Decent pricing, not too much higher than Target, but obviously expected to be higher the store. It's been an extra large figure. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen this one in this particular packaging. I probably have, probably just looks different, different store. But another Sino Tyrannus, and then back here. I've never haven't bought this one yet, but sorry about that. 
Here is a Diablo Ceratops. The camera looks like it's looking a little weird. Hold on, guys. There we go. Um, over here, not really seeing anything. Some crazy looking dinosaur. Some like Mario stuff. Um, right here, nothing much. Um, this section's always quite a mess. Really don't see anything. Just a bunch of Melissa Undug stuff. Um, over here there could be something though. Right here. Oh, look at that. Did not see this last time. I haven't seen this for a while. This is... Oh, I may have to grab this. I already have two of these. This is my one of my favorite releases out of Dino Skate. That's really cool to see. This had to have been here last time too because I know they didn't restock this. Maybe it was just like covered up by something and last time it was a lot harder to film. On this side, I'm not seeing anything. Just a bunch of Nidos and more baby clothes, but now people have kind of moved a little bit. I can see what they have over here and the uh, Lego section. Um, I know we just walked past here, but I really not see anything else. Wonder, oh, what am I seeing here? Now this is new. They have all of the 30th anniversary sets. Here is the mm, Velociraptor escape set. Here is the Dilophosaurus ambush. I think I'm the first person to find it. I need to get this video up quick. Um, here is the Triceratops research. And they have the Brachiosaurus Lego set. Now this is awesome to see. I'm not seeing the um, huge set. I know this is most of the sets. Let's set this aside. I don't think I'll be getting any of these today because they will be regularly stocked at Target quite soon. But to show you guys a better like view of all the sets. Oh gosh, you have no idea how cramped this aisle is. Literally, you can't even fit a shopping cart down here, but yeah, that's awesome. Um, so if you guys want to just look over them one more time, here is Brachiosaurus. Now, this is why you guys need to always look in the randomest sections for stuff. Um, let's look at the back. You already you guys have already seen the front of all of these, so I'll just um, move this. Now, look at that. There's the back of the boxes of each of them. Pretty cool. Um, I don't think there's much else here. I looked pretty decently around everywhere. Um, so yeah, awesome finds. Um, hope to see you guys in the next hunt. See you later. Heading into the target location too. Let's see what I can find. I'm gonna check the DPCI on the wallet again. And the, what says it? Lunchbox. See if there's anything new. Um, I know the set date's a little bit off still, but they're showing up at everyone's targets, and yeah, let's just see what I can find. Okay, let's see what they have on the Jurassic Park. Oh. They sold four Red Rex in one day here, which is crazy. Um, looking, everything looks just about the same as usual. They still have the 30th anniversary sign up. Got some Hammond Collection. And then a few other things right here. Um, let's see, sorry. Not seeing much else. I'm gonna change my camera lens really quick and show you a bigger, wider view of the aisle. Here's your guys' last view of the aisle just so you can get a little bit better of an idea of what there is here. But yeah, pretty cool. Okay, nothing new on the lunchbox aisle. I'm pretty sure if they had it, it would be in the Funko aisle, but still. Just in case some weird chart worker doesn't know where they're where to stock stuff, it's best better to be knowing. But what do they have here? Okay, it looks like they sold all of those um, Jurassic Park moment sets, which I'm very surprised about, judging by how high the retail was. Otherwise, I'm not seeing anything that I'm looking for. Not even a single Jurassic item here. Which is actually kind of mind-blowing. Um, I'll let you guys know once I check the DPCIs. Okay, everyone. Um, they do not... I'm looking for some Funko stuff over here, but they do not have them um, yet. Same thing as the set date as before. 
really don't think the girl knew what she was doing on the zebra. That's so why I usually like to have Paco do it for me, but now there's next aisle is actually extremely empty right now. The only thing I'm noticing that's new for this particular location is the Giga. But yeah, um, next location it is. Wanted to get the sign, but there's a million cars. And is this door not open? Or I'm going through the exit, as usual. How many, how many, this is gonna start. Sorry, I just said everything wrong. This is gonna start to be a common occurring thing. I do it at Target out of town now. It was the same Walmart that I always go to. So, I'll see you at the Jurassic Isle. Okay, we are approaching the Jurassic Isle. Nothing in really particular I'm looking for, but I feel like that's always when things just come out at random. For a lot of the Jurassic fans, I probably have to agree with that. Um, it's this is aisle. I'm just trying to show you from a wide view. Not seeing much any of anything new. This is actually almost worth it. Um, say if, if this goes on higher discount to, I know it's like opened up, but maybe like $10, I think it's definitely worth buying for a repaint. It's actually funny because this is actually paint, but since they put that um, marbling throughout the figure, it goes to here on this one, which actually looks pretty cool. But yeah, that's nice to see. Um, seeing some of the wave two Gujitsus here, the Giga, pretty cool. Um, got some a million Roar Striker Sinoceratops, and at one point in time, that was one of the harder Roar Strikers to get, but I never really expected that the Dominion would be this overstocked. It's just actually mind-blowing. No one really cares. I don't think that it was a huge movie, um, as much as, like, um, Fallen Kingdom, because, I mean, since Fallen Kingdom, they've been regularly stocking dinosaurs, and a parent buying this for their kids is just gonna be like, dinosaur? It's a dinosaur. I can understand if the adult collector's line or legacy collection, but they really need to start discounting stuff. And I am seeing some discounts. And I'm seeing that this is on sale, but why only this one? Like, why are the rest of them not on discount? That makes zero sense. I don't think anything's wrong with it. No. That's a random um, deal. But yeah, I think I'm gonna go check the Funko section, see if I can find anything cool there. But right before that, I'm going to check the Imagine Next section here. Um, uh, let's see what I can find. Okay. I think last time I was here, I forgot to show you guys this section. Okay, now that is awesome. They have the minis. That's so cool. They have this one I do not have. If they have the Indominus, let's hope they have it. Okay, this one I don't have, as that gets really loud, sorry. This one I do have, let's put that back up there. This one's a duplicate of what we just saw. Pharaohsinosaurus, so I'm another duplicate. And then we have this one, which I already have. I wanted to see what this display looks like. That looks actually pretty cool, but I think I might be moving soon, so I don't need really that many more displays, but I may grab these. I'll let you guys know soon. Um, but uh, for a second I thought I was gonna be done filming, but there is other stuff to look at here. Um, we have the big Giga. The Metronome, you don't see quite as much as other Imagine X figures. But, um, I think that's it for this aisle. Pretty cool. As I'm heading to the Funko section, this is where we just looked at Jurassic Isle. As people just misplace lots of stuff. I see a captive's egg. I wonder if it's the Triceratops. It's not. It's either the Spino or the T-Rex, judging by the weight. But, I know, pretty random, but still interesting to see. Something interesting I'd like to share with you guys, um... So those little Imagine X minis I was showing you, the ones that I found at Kohl's, they were priced at $4.99, but when I actually got to check out, they were $3.99, which is actually extremely cheap. And I'd seen everyone besides the Ankylosaurus actually at um, Kohl's, but um, I mean, no, I've seen everything but the Ankylosaurus at Walmart before. So, I wonder how much these are. I don't know why I keep going in circles with what I'm saying, but I think the reason I didn't buy these here in the first place was I think they were $7.99, which is actually pretty high price. I don't think there's any price scanners around here. I'll let you guys know when I find one. So now that I check the price, they're $4.97 here. I can almost promise you guys that they were at least $7 last time I was here. They're not, they don't show as on sale, but I think they must have just priced them wrong, generally. But I may grab them, may not. Um, 
I'll let you guys know towards the end of the hunts, probably. Um, but yeah, cool. Luckily, there's no cars this time, so you guys can see where I'm going. I'm not going to show you once I get to the aisle here because it's actually pretty close to the entrance. Um, basically, just looking for anything. I've noticed that they've repackaged um, the T-Rex and the Giga now for the, the Dino Trackers. Um, why did that sound like like a glitch in my wording? Uh, the Dino Trackers. Um, what are they called? Sound Surge figures. Um, so let's see which ones they got this time around. Okay, I'm not seeing much else new, but they do have Dino Trackers Giga again and the T-Rex, which I do don't have the Giga. I don't think I'm gonna be grabbing it. Um, I just wish they had a little bit more paint on it. They did finally sell the um, T-Rex. I was gonna grab that for a repaint here because they put it down to $17.99, which it just sucks they sold that, but probably should have got it earlier if I really wanted to. Um, for some reason, my stores, even the ones out of town in my area, have not gotten wave two of these or the danger packs, which I'm more surprised about the danger packs Maybe because they haven't sold these. I feel like once they sell these, it updates right away. Maybe that's when they get the shipments in. But um, I'm not seeing much else here. Um, decent stock overall. Let me get back so you guys can see everything they have. Um, yeah. This it is on sale. I may get it at some point. It is actually pretty cool. The tiger stripe raptor and then blue. Um, people just don't tell me that's Echo. It looks like... Tiger Oh, it's a Trociraptor? I never even know that. They just didn't change the sculpt at all, but pretty cool. Um, they definitely use the same sculpt for this as um, the blue from Dino Rivals and Primal Attack. I forgot what it was called, but I do have that. I'll show you guys later towards the end if um, you guys want to see it, but decent stock. Awesome. Um, I think that might be the last hunt in this video. Um, so yeah, I was talking to you about everything I found. Hello everyone, so this is basically just going to be the end of the video as a bug gets on my foot. Um, so basically just the hunts, they're actually pretty successful recently. Um, you got the Red Rex. The Red Rex definitely hit um, my city way sooner than expected. The only store um, that said that they were even getting it was Target Location 4. And that um, Target Location was supposed to get on the 28th. And it's, I don't know what day it is right now, maybe the 20, is this the 23rd maybe? So it's way earlier, and there, you guys saw me checking many times, and even off camera, I've checked way more times. I don't film every hunt I do, I probably should, but every other location said there wasn't even a set date for it, and then somehow they get four, um, and at the um, other location, um, target location four, they're supposed to only get a shipment of three. And for some reason, all the locations in my city, I think, got shipments of four because um, the, okay, so when I checked, it was the evening of a day. I was checking every single day, but for some reason, I didn't check in the morning. And it had said that target location one had two left, which is kind of the main location in my city. It's a smaller location, but it's like, I guess you just stay in a nicer part of town. I don't know. Um, and then target location two said they had four. Um, target location three said that they had four as well, and target location four said four. And when I woke up the next morning because I wasn't able to go that night, they said that um, target location one had one left, meaning that they sold one since then. Um, wait, I think, hopefully I said that right, that target location one had two available. So I'm not sure if they sold two that day before I checked, or I don't really know what happened, but when I woke up, target location, the one, um, four, that one was completely sold out. Um, target location three had four left. Like maybe they hadn't took them out of the back yet. Target location two completely sold out. Um, and then target location one online said that they had one left. But when I called for some reason, I didn't even ask. They actually just put it on hold for me. Um, they said that they had two available. And when I went there, they, um, had, one on hold. I, mean, I never really checked if they had more, but when I rechecked online, it said that they had um, none left. So I think that might have been the last one, and they actually, but they still did have to get it out of the back. It's so weird how Target's website works too, because 
Um, the Red Rex isn't on pre-order anymore, and neither are the rest of the 90 Free Classic sets, but those ones went off pre-order sooner. And the Red Rex, if you looked, um, like on my, it showed all the different locations in my city, they all said out of stock, even when they were in stock. But I was still, even though it wasn't on pre-order, having to switch locations and look at the top um, left corner of the screen, and you could see a little number where it said free left, two left, and that is the true number in stock, but maybe because they're not allowing pickup yet, but it still has the option for pickup, it just says that they're sold out. So I don't really know. Um, I haven't seen captives in a while, so I'm thinking that they're going to be rolling out um, wave free. I messaged them a while back, and a, a few questions I had, and they said that, um, well, basically I asked them, um, if I gave them some recommendations, which they obviously probably don't care, but they they, they always seem very enthusiastic and um, excited, or not excited, I don't know, they, they just seem very enthusiastic when I ask them questions about their products. They're a very nice company to my, what I know of them. Um, some people in the Jurassic community, people say they're really nice, some say that they aren't, I mean, just, I don't know, I'm not the Toy Monsters, just Jurassic, but... Yeah, um, they, they were, I, I think some of the dinosaurs that I asked about was like JP3 Raptors, and they kind of acted like they might be working on those right now, so uh, maybe they will see that on Wave 3, because they definitely didn't act like they were done with the 30th Anniversary Captives. And truthfully, it's kind of too bad what they really should have done. Well, that's a crazy looking bug right there, just so you guys know I'm not joking, there's a definitely a crazy bug hopefully it's focusing i have no idea what you guys just saw but um hopefully it doesn't jump um but yeah so that's pretty cool to know i really hope that they change the sculpt and don't just do a repaint um i'm noticing they're finally using that sculpt again that they used on velociraptor delta hey henry <laughs> um a while back that's my dog so you guys know um yeah, but I, that's pretty cool. Um, other things that I found on these hunts, I mean, I found that JP30 backpack, and you'd think that they would have, um, what's it called, um, restocked the, like, lunch boxes and wallets at the same time, but no. Um, at all the Target locations besides two that I, well, I haven't checked at, I don't think I actually have checked at location three and four, but one, location one, they have a set date for the wallet and lunchbox, but neither of them have shipped yet. Where the on the 16th of um, whatever month it is, May, um, they actually shipped the um, the uh, the lunchbox, but the wallet they have not shipped yet. So that they still have the same set date. So it's weird they'd ship the backpacks. I think the backpack also had the same set date, but they just somehow got it really early. So I don't know about that, but um, since you guys just saw, I was at Target Location 2 today, and they sold every single one of their Funko Moment sets um, for Jurassic, which I think they had like four or five originally, which I'm very surprised about. Usually those have to go on discount because they're a very expensive Funko set, but yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, definitely a Funko collector went in there. I really don't think Jurassic collectors, I don't have that many in my city, only one that I know of which I've ran into on the Jurassic Isle many times, actually, um, which is cool. So um, I think on my next video, um, I'm going to be going out of town. So either you're going to see a bunch of hunts from out-of-town targets, and I think they may have a Best Buy in that city and also a Five Below, so that'll be fun. Um, so that's what you guys will see in the next video, or I may have a video coming up soon where I show you some of like some of my collections, like I might show you my captives collection, because um, I guess I'll also not really tell you guys about that, because um, stay tuned for the next video, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I'll show you some of my Jurassic collections, not all of them. Um, might show you some of my repaints in the next video. It's either going to be more hunts in the next video, or repaints and collections. So it's just to me something, something soon. Um, probably sometime next week, or maybe the following will be another video up but yeah um thank you guys all for watching hope you have a really nice rest of your day see you later